Hi everyone, this is Joan of Health and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be here and share my passion for health, weight loss, and lifestyle with women over 50. As we age, it becomes even more important to take care of ourselves and maintain a healthy lifestyle. That's why I've created this channel to provide a space for women just like you to come together and learn about the latest tips and tricks for living a healthy and fulfilling lifestyle. In today's video, we're going to be discussing intermittent fasting, which is a powerful tool for women over 50 looking to improve their health and live a healthier lifestyle. So today you're going to be learning about the amazing benefits of this technique and how it can help you achieve your health and wellness goals. Don't miss out on this opportunity to take control of your health today. Make sure to listen to the end of the video because I've got a great gift for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Hello and welcome to today's lesson where we talk about intermittent fasting and how you can use it as a lifestyle. So in this lesson, we're going to discuss what intermittent fasting is and if you should do intermittent fasting or not, the health benefits of intermittent fasting and how intermittent fasting works and different ways that you can do intermittent fasting. So what is intermittent fasting? So many people call intermittent fasting a diet, but it's rather a pattern of eating or dieting for optimal success because short fasting actually benefits you in a lot of ways. Simple calorie reduction. When you don't eat for an extended period of time, you naturally eat less overall. It also teaches you a lot, including how to listen to your body's hunger signals and to follow a healthy eating pattern of eating. Also, you're following a specific pattern each day where you eat only during a shorter block of time and fasting the rest of the day, except for maybe having some coffee, tea, or water. This pattern helps you to burn food more quickly so there's a lot more time for burning fat. Now, should you intermittent fast? Of course, always check with your doctor first because there's people who should not have this type of lifestyle. Don't intermittent fast if you're on multiple medications unless your doctor says it's okay. If you're an athlete who's in training, if you've got a lot of stress in your life, or if you have a history of eating disorders or food disorders. Why should you intermittent fast? Because your digestive system works much better when it has had a chance to rest and recover. When we eat all day long, like so many of us do, and into the evening, our bodies don't have a chance to rest and recover. Our body has an easier time repairing when it doesn't have to use so much energy digesting food. Also, it helps to um, control your blood sugar, it increases your cognitive function, it promotes healthy eating, and it's your anti-aging magic wand. So here's some simpler ways to lose weight. Yo-yo dieting is not only conducive to successful weight loss, but it can actually be harmful for your body, right? Too many changes in short periods of time can lead to many issues with digestion, weight gain, and abdominal pain. So you want to stick to one method and keep with it. Also, it's simple. The reason why so many people are having success with intermittent fasting is because how simple it is. You just, ch you just pick one method of intermittent fasting and you stick with it. All right? And it doesn't really get any easier than that. Intermittent fasting can also help control your blood sugar. So moving beyond just helping you lose weight or burn fat, intermittent fasting is also efficient at controlling your blood sugar levels. When you do intermittent fasting over a prolonged period of time and you do it right, you can start decreasing your insulin resistance and balancing your blood glucose levels naturally. Because when you do this, it can help to treat die two, um, type 2 diabetes if you have that or avoid diabetes if you're in the high risk category. It also increases your cognitive function because there's been animal studies on intermittent fasting and how it can have a positive effect on your cognitive health, which helps to promote brain and memory health. You can actually reduce your risk for brain related illnesses like dementia and Alzheimer's disease with both a healthy diet and diets like intermittent fasting. A lot of studies were performed at the Laboratory of Neurosciences at the National Institute of Aging on this very subject. Intermittent fasting also promotes healthy eating. So since intermittent fasting takes away overeating and requires you to be really conscious when you do eat, 
It can help tremendously with your overall health. Nutritious foods provide so many amazing health benefits for your weight, your heart health, your cholesterol, even your bones. And with intermittent fasting, you can try to have nutrient-dense foods during eating phases, so it can help you learn to eat better, all, better overall. Also, it promotes longevity, which is one of the best ways to anti-age. And the biggest factor to healthy aging is simply eating less. After the age of 45, our bodies simply don't need as many calories as we used to. Our bodies are not building anymore, and this is a good distinction. We are now protecting and preserving, so it requires less fuel. Fasting helps to stimulate our longevity genetic pathways, and fasting helps to kick on autophagy, which is the body's self-cleaning process. I've mentioned this before, and it's, but it's really important to understand. Also, this is how to do intermittent fasting. So, you want to start a couple times a week. And what I did was, when I first started, is I had dinner a little bit earlier than normal. And then when I got up the next morning, I had my breakfast a little bit later. So remember, you're sleeping seven or eight hours. So this may be a challenge at first. You don't want to go from zero to 16 hours if that's not, you know, comprehensible to you. How I started was this, is I ate, you know, for, for 12 hours. I had my first meal at 7 a.m. and my last meal at 7 p.m. And I stopped eating. All right. Then a couple days later is I went up, you know, from 12 hours and I did 14 hours and then I did 16 hours. And once your body adjusts, you're going to feel amazing. It's quite liberating and it's easy. And realizing that you don't have to eat all the time, you know, it gives your body, like I said, a chance to detox and your energy really increases. So what's the difference between, you know, 16 hour fasting, intermittent fasting or time restricted fasting? they're all the same. So this is the most popular option where you eat during an eight hour period and then during the 16 hour period, which is also when you sleep, that is your fasting time. Okay, so try to do this as often as possible. It can be done every day of the week. And once again, this is where the autophagy kicks in, your body's natural internal self-cleaning machine. So eat for eight hours and then fast for 16 hours. Try to do it as often as possible. And like I said, it can be done every day of the week. And um, once you start doing this, you're going to really be happy. So tips on starting intermittent fasting. Pick your protocol first, then do plenty of planning. For example, are you going to do 12 hours, 14 hours, or 16 hours? And you want to make sure that when you do eat, that you know what you're going to be eating and how much you're going to be eating. Planning is everything here. And I don't recommend going extreme at first. It's best to start with the lesser protocols, like 12 hours or 14 hours. And then after that, just increase up as you feel comfortable. Here are some frequently asked questions. Is it okay to drink water during fasting? Absolutely. It's great to have water, especially in the morning, because it helps to hydrate you. What about exercise? It's actually better to exercise without eating because there's no glucose being used for energy. So then your body burns fat. It's actually a myth that you need to eat before you exercise. What about coffee? <laughs> well, we still don't know if it's okay to have coffee during your fast. If you do have coffee during the fast, make sure it's black because if you have any carbs or protein, it stimulates your body to secrete insulin. And then that breaks it. So if you need something in your coffee, try MCT oil. What about snacks or midnight snacks? After your body adjusts, you shouldn't be craving midnight snacks or wanting to snack at all. Close down the kitchen and go back to sleep. How often? I would start with two days per week and then work up to it. What about longer fasting times? There is no one way to do this. If you want to explore, you know, more intensive fasting, I would talk to your doctor about it. All right. What if you can't go 16 hours? It's okay. Start with 10 hours, then go 12 hours, then 14 hours, and then 16 hours. All right, we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching. This is Joan of Health. Please like and share this video and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.